triple the brightness, more than double the distance in a not that much bigger a package, at least on paper. We'll see and compare them head to head. Hey, welcome back to UDC channel, this is Jay. I'm talking about this um, new re release um, Enlighted L3 from um, Niels Gadget. First is the older um, L2 brother that I've um, reviewed previously. I think this time will be uh, mostly beam shot since uh, they're mostly the same um, simple UI. Design and appearance are also pretty much um, similar. Just a different size and a ratio. Let's compare them. The box is uh, nearly identical. Just uh, obviously bigger. Um, clean simple um, card box. I think this um, 652 and a rubber switch. Here's the size comparison in the default 18 um, 350 configuration. It came with a 18 350 tube. Uh, which I never use. I think I'll prefer in the shorter form. I'm not a big fan of the ratio or proportion in the 18650 format. In fact, I never um, use it, but uh, I'll put it on for you guys. Here it is, much bigger. I guess it um, came in handy if you need the runtime, and it's not too bad. But uh, noticeably bigger now. Might as well sh show you guys the internals before I switch back to the 18350 tube and the battery that it came with. Thick uh, tube and uh, it came with the rubber switch as mentioned earlier some doesn't like a metal uh, switch but I prefer a metal one it has the same uh, matte black finish which is uh, neat in my opinion also has the same uh, blue glow in the dark ring but it has a different size tritium slots though This is the regular um, 1.5 times 6. I'm not sure what size this is. It's a regular one on the switch though. This time the clip is um, side screw instead of screw in. And I believe it's using a standard size. I only have a few. Let's see how it looks with a different clip. A few of my clips. This is the clip it came with. I won't screw this one by one, just um, try it on. Next. It's kind of neat. Oh, yes, I like this too. Last but not least. What do you guys think? Clear, clear this up. It's currently available in three color options. This um, classic black, 
uh, green and uh, white micro arc, ox micro arc oxidation. Unfortunately, it's not available in uh, premium metals options yet. Uh, we'll see. I would at least hope for a stainless steel uh, bezel. Okay, as mentioned earlier, the UI is pretty simple. Just high by default with memory and uh, low. It's using a forward clicky switch. Strobe is uh, hidden by triple half presses instead of uh, double. Which is good. That means we can use the uh, double half presses for shortcut to low. Okay, let's just um, head out and see how much it, how much better it performs versus the older brother. L3 uh, low should be around the same as um, L2 high on paper. But as you can see, the hotspot is uh, bigger. It's the same distance. And um, yeah, we'll see. Okay, let's see this too. I charge both batteries. Start with low. Okay. Both low. Low and high. No, both high. Bigger hot spot. Okay, let's try again. Both low. High and low. Still low, this is the high. Now let's try the high. Okay. No contest. Bigger hot spot. In terms of form factor, honestly, I prefer the L2, but I do have a soft spot for 14500 formats. But as you can see, uh, the performance is uh, noticeably better. With the bigger lumens and a bigger head, it's not surprising. If you're looking for performance, I recommend getting the L3 instead. Okay, that's it for this video. As always, thanks for watching and see you guys in the next one. Bye now.